Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now I'm just putting in some place marks at these Ancient America sites here on Google Earth, and I have a few free minutes, so I thought I'd talk about one of the places that I'm going to mark here. First, I just want to say thanks to all the great comments on my video where I talked about eight years on YouTube and also on the interview I did with Dendel. And I'm sure it's clear to you people why I upload videos with her singing. The person behind the voice is a key. And she's pretty special, and a lot of you know that now. And thanks for those nice comments. I'm sure she really appreciates it. But today we are going to document a site called the Smith Creek Mounds, and this is the first I've really looked at these. But they're right down here in Mississippi. And let me just show you what they look like here. Here is what the site looks like from overhead, and pretty nondescript. Ancient America, I know it isn't that exciting. But let's just line up the highway here and match up the inroad coming in here and take a look at what this place used to look like. Here are where the major mounds lay. There is a really big mound right off the road down here. Mound B right here and then a different looking mound C over here. That's what they say exists here. Let's go down to Street View and see if we can see these from the road. But as we are down here on Street View, here is all that is remaining of Mound B. And then Mound C is over in this part of the park. And then if we go down the road here just a bit, here is what is remaining of Mound B over in this area. And then if you look off to the west of the highway, you can see the mound beginning right here going up. And it just lays right off the side of the road here. And part of it was removed for the highway to be put in here and as we go a little further up the road you can see the remains of the mounds in the woods here and that is looking back at the old plaza to the ancient city here but here they have a historical marker even though the mounds are just kind of left by the roadside and unkept it says the smith creek site consists of three mounds surrounding a large plaza mound a the site's largest monument at over 30 feet tall. Mound B is a burial mound surrounded by a ditch or moat. Mound C to the east is eroding into Smith Creek. Its original dimensions are unknown. And it says mounds A and C were built in multiple stages beginning in the Coles Creek period about 1000 AD. But you are going to hear a little bit later in the video that occupation here goes back at least 2,300 years, maybe more. And also at the end of the video, I'll show you maybe evidence of other mounds here. Now this is the Penn Museum website. They did some work down here, and I've used them on a couple other videos. It says a Smith Creek archaeological project focuses on a pre-contact Native American mound site in the lower Mississippi River Valley. The site served as an important ritual center for over 1,000 years. But here it gives a list of the researchers here and the areas that were studied. And it says the Smith Creek Archaeological Project focuses on Native American Mound and a plaza center that was constructed by the Coles Creek people between 700 and 1200 of the current era. And it was later occupied by the Plaquemine people. And I mentioned them before between 1200 and 1350. Recent excavations have also revealed an earlier occupation by the Chifuncti people. And why do I have such hard words to pronounce in my videos? Anyone? want to give a crack at that one right there that is a new word to me but as early as 200 bc so it just seems the further down we dig we just come up to earlier occupations now here they talk about the 2018 excavation and they found huge dense trash deposits of ceramic stone tools and food remains left behind by the plaquemine culture and then they also found a huge circular structure that supposedly went back to about 300 B.C. Now here is a website from Mississippi Government Trails. I will leave a link below, but here is part of the large A mound when it was being taken out when the highway was being put in here. I showed you that one covered up in the woods. But it says there are three mounds at this site, Mound C, B, and the large Mound A here right off the highway that cuts right through here. But this here, this is obviously a mound from the city, and I'll show you that here at the end. And we have lost a lot of Mound C to the creek behind it. And it seems there was a moat 
around mound B and a lot of that has deteriorated and here away. is a look at mound C that is kind of deteriorating away into the creek right behind it eroding away and here is the entrance road coming into the little park off the highway so that has to be mound C right there but that is a good sized mound and it's totally covered in trees and underbrush here is someone named Ariel who is on top of mound C and it says the stratigraphy shows that there was a structure on top of Mount C. Now here we are down a little bit from what they say is the outside of the plaza and the mound area. But right here we have another mound that doesn't appear to be marked on the diagram of the site. This does not appear to be a natural mound. It seems to come up here very, very flat top and then come down over here. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but I think this is a mound that they just didn't even really talk about in the article or in the map feature. But I just thought I would document this today. Um, I'm going to be making videos, I think, on a regular basis for another week. And then next week, I'm going to have a few things done. Ten years of playing hockey and sticks and pucks and fists have inflicted damage on me. So I'm going to have a few things taken care of next week. And then I'm going to Florida in a couple weeks. But I just wanted to squeeze this one in here when I had a few free minutes. Here's a look at the Smith Creek Mound site. Mound C is kind of eroding into the creek over here. Mound B right here. Mound A, the big one, right under the trees right here. And then right up in the, this area, the re, seems to be the remains of a mound up on the road right here. So that is a place in Mississippi. We'll put a place mark down there. But that, maybe, we're not getting the full history from that site. It seems farther down we dig. The farther back the history goes, probably the same with a lot of these places around here. The mounds down around Baton Rouge, Emerald Mounds, Holy Bluff, Poverty Point, some sites right down on the lower Mississippi there. But that'll wrap it up. Hope you thought that was interesting, and you all have a very nice day.